Ray Carcillo with Classic Game Room, ClassicGameRoom.com, and of course CGR Undertow. And down here in the underwater base, we've all played at one point or another Plants vs. Zombies. And we all agree it's a fantastic game. Which is why we were especially excited for this special packaging review. Sent to us by PopCap Games, of course the developer for Plants vs. Zombies, we have the limited edition for the PC Plants vs. Zombies right here. As you see here, standard uh, plastic casing for your PC game. But on top of it, if you look closely here, we'll zoom in, or I'll push it closer to the camera anyway. A limited edition zombie figurine. It's pretty cool right there. Add that onto anybody's desk. That'll be an awesome little feature there, I'm sure. On top of this, with the limited edition comes the Zombator Zombie Creator. A nice little extra feature there for you PC gamers. But on top of that, we also have a very special package that came in along with the limited edition. Now, only 300 of these were made. Commissioned by, uh, by PopCap Games was Moose Pottery Studios. And they made 300 limited edition of each of these little figurines here. Mind you, of course, they're all made of glass, I mean, standard pottery. So, I mean, that packaging, if you really want to see it, you know, your standard newspaper and, and bubble wrap for anything that's fragile. I give you the limited edition Plants vs. Zombies pottery. The first thing we're going to take a look at here is your standard pea shooter. Pew, 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 pew. And as you can see, it's actually really well made. It's, 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 it is made of glass. It's beautifully painted. Um, it actually kind of looks like a cup. You kind of put your finger through here and maybe drink a little bit or whatever. And you don't want to be able to fill it up halfway since it's, it's tilted. But, um, you know, still a really nice job. Great design. Looks just like from the game. Um, really, really enjoyed this. Um, piece, I guess, as much as you guys enjoyed it as much as you could enjoy a piece of pottery, I suppose. Um, the other piece, our second piece, is the sunflower. Of course, very necessary in terms of playing the game, needing the sunlight to create plants to hold off the zombie horde. Always a necessity for any person's pottery collection, I'm sure. And finally, this is my favorite. By far my favorite, because it reminds me of Audrey 2 from uh, Little Shop of Horrors. Feed me, Zima! Uh, it's the zombie eating plant. It, uh, of course, anybody who knows the game, uh, they can, they, it takes them a while to chew them up, but it's great to take out, you know, one zombie, especially if it's a difficult zombie, like the football player zombie or, or whatever. Um, and again, very, you know, three-dimensional, made completely of glass. You can see I can actually stick my finger inside the teeth of the, uh, the, the zombie eating plant. And again, just really well done, really well painted. You see the tongue inside there. Uh, a great job by Moose Studios Pottery, and again, thanks to PopCap for sending this our way. Again, only limited edition, only 300 of each were made, I believe, so you're going to have a tough time probably finding those on eBay if you are a diehard fan of the series, uh, or of the game, but uh, definitely a, a nice addition to any underwater base in case zombies ever should, have, should learn to swim. Uh, I think we will be well protected with our pottery Plants vs. Zombies plants. So, for Classic Game Room, ClassicGameRoom.com, and CGR Undertow, I'm Ray Carcillo.